proved that a proposition, beginning with all, is a double proposition, a fact that is quite independent of the arbitrary rule. Laid down in the next section, that such a proposition is to be understood as implying the actual existence of its subject. This proof was given, in the earlier editions, incidentally, in the course of the discussion of the bilateral diagram. You will be given time. Hey Eleanor, who wishes to try the question fairly, whether this little book does, or does not, supply the materials for our most interesting mental recreation, is there an actually at least to adopt their following rules? E. Begin at the beginning, and do not allow yourself to gratify your married or curiosity by dipping into that book, here and there. This would very likely get to your zero-eat aside, without remark, this is much too hard for me, and thus losing that chance of getting a very long time to your stock of rebel demise. This rule, when not giving, is very desirable in other kinds of books, such as novels, but... Just to see how the story went, and perhaps it is as well just to know that all ends happily, 
has the much persecuted lovers to marry after all, that he is proved to be quite innocent of the murder, as the wicked cousin, he, don't begin any fresh chapter, or section, until you are certain that you thoroughly understand the whole book to that point, and that you have worked, correctly, most if not all of the examples which have been said, so long as you are conscious that all that you have passed through is absolutely complicated, and that you are leaving no unsolved difficulties behind you, it will be sure to turn up again later when, your triumphal progress will be easy and delightful, otherwise, you will find your state of puzzlement get worse and worse as you proceed, till you give up the whole thing in utter disgust, Sam, when you come to any passage you don't understand, read it again, if you still don't understand it, read it again, if you fail, even after three readings, very likely your brain is getting a little tired, in that case, put the book away, and take to other occupations, and next day, when you come to it fresh, you will very likely find that it is quite easy, safe, if possible, find some genial friend, you will read the book along with you, and will talk over the difficulties with you, talking is a wonderful smooth over of difficulties, when I come upon anything, in logic or in any other hard subject, and the trial it puzzles me, I find it a capital plan to talk it over, aloud, even when I am all alone, one can explain things so clearly to oneself, and then, you know, one is so patient with oneself, one never gets irritated.